Guys, I'm out here at my train unit. About to change the compressor out. We're removing the refrigerant. I'm going to take the top off and the front panel off. I have some controls to add slash change. I'm going to go ahead and start working on that while I'm removing the refrigerant. Here's some of the controls we'll be using. The ICM 450. It's a phase monitor. Make sure we don't have any issues with the compressor going forward. Place the contactor. New crankcase heater and new fan meter capacitor because it was weak as well. Guys, I've added some of our controls to ICM 450 here. It is monitoring our three-phase power on each side of the contactor to make sure we're squared away as far as we are in the correct phase. And any deviation in voltage between each line is noted and parameters are set so if it goes outside of that, it will shut the system down via our control voltage at the bottom, 24 volts, which goes to our contactor, which is new, and our fan motor capacitor was weak, so it's going to be new as well. Um, I'll set this up in a minute when we have power after I get done with the repair. Now we're going to move on to yanking the old compressor out. Here's our train compressor, Copeland, whatever you want to call it. We have our rotor locks that I bought to go along with this. Just in case our old road locks were a problem, I wanted to make sure I had new ones. And this is way too big for that. That is not the right road lock. Unfortunately, I didn't see it whenever I picked it up. So I'll be uh, forced to use my old ones, which wasn't a problem. I got those off with the help of my trusty pipe wrench back there. So we're going to set this thing in place. I'm going to go ahead and braise the, because uh, I cut them off. Because I was going to not use them, so now I get to braise them back together but that won't be too bad. Then I'll go ahead and set the compressor in there and just tighten it up with the wrench. Well, our new compressor in under pressure test via the Z-manifold at about 175 pounds. I've sectioned off the system here. I want to test the compressor to make sure it was going to pass the nitrogen test. It looks like it will. I'm going to insert a dryer out here. Then we can move on to testing the entire system and then pulling a vacuum. Guys, I am putting pressure on the dryer side of the system. The side of the system where the compressor has been changed is holding pressure at 180 pounds thereabout. So we're going to check this one here at about 150 pounds, let it sit for a few minutes and make sure all my welds are good. We'll move on to the vacuum. Now. Guys, I have my Raycam Freeze Guard self-regulating crankcase heater here. And it can be overlapped because it comes very long. And there it is, if you can see it down there on the compressor, I've overlapped it a couple times, wrapped it around there, has a Panduit strap. It keeps it tight, you cut it off, so that's what I'm gonna use for a crankcase heater. I'm gonna come wire to the bottom of the contactor just so it's, uh, it's always on. And that's about it, we're about to pull a vacuum. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that around there before I forgot. I've gotta get some wires to splice it up here into the cabinet so I can wire it up. Guys, I have about six and a half pounds in off this bottle. I had two pounds on a previous bottle, so we're about eight and a half. We're gonna get up to about nine, which will be seven pounds of this bottle. Start the system up, go ahead and set up the uh, phase monitor, and then we can put it into action for a few minutes. Alright guys, we have our 245 volt phase average. We set up what parameters we had, what, what voltage three phase were we dealing with. It goes all the way up to 480 with this device. Uh, we brought it down to 240. We said it could go no more than 10% higher than 240, uh, which is really really pushing it right there it really could be a little bit less than that no more than 20 percent lower than 240 the phase balance has to be within seven percent so if two phases are out of balance it'll allow a certain amount of give and then it will trip the system offline there's a three minute delay on brake if the power gets shut off and shut back on it won't allow the machine to start right back up and we are ready to start things up ourselves here. So I'm gonna go inside and turn the switch and let it run for a little bit and show you what we got. Okay guys, we're running a 206 over 66 pressure. It's actually pretty cool inside. Our pressure's right on target, actually a little bit above target. So we we'll probably have a little bit of excessive airflow for once. Everything's looking good. Temperature splits about 15 degrees. Again, it probably would be a little bit more if there was less airflow. A lot of sensible cooling but that's about all for today everything went uh, well I got done with it and I'll see you guys on the next one